What's up, Noah Vazi fam? It's your girl, Trapsy. Here with everybody's favorite, Kenfo J. And today, we have a very big guest in the building. <laughs> Our trainee of the night. I know who she, who she is. Some of y'all may know who she is. But I'm going to let her introduce herself. So you know, girl, you're not new to this. You're true to this. I'm not, I'm not. We got to bring you in no advisory style. So we got to ask you three simple questions. Okay? Who you are. Where you from, and what the f you do? Well, for those who don't know, I am Lachey OTB. Um, I'm from the 803, so I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, and what I do is I have a full-time job. I'm a full-time mom. I'm an artist, and I also own my own boutique called Shot with Lachey. Okay. okay. All right. So you a Jill of all trades over here. Yeah. That's what's up. So my first question then, to piggyback off, everything that you just said is how do you find the balance in everything how do you find time to work and be a mom and be an artist and be a business owner um I feel like multitasking is my bright side I noticed that when I don't have as much stuff to do I live around I play around but when I got to do this I got to do this I gotta go to the studio I gotta you know do whatever I feel like I stay busy and I get it done so just having a lot on my plate makes me go hard as a um as a mom um what's something that you're trying to teach your young in about you know the fact that you gotta work to get where you want to be but you also gotta find balance like what's some what's something that you want them to take from it the most um i definitely want him to take first and foremost how to treat a lady um that's a big part um, and just be genuine, you know. It's a lot of people out here, they feel like they need to fake it and make it. Just be genuine. Just be who you are and just work hard. Work as hard as you play and you'll get there. That was that was a gem right there. Be genuine and treat ladies right. Sheesh. That's definitely what's up. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> here come Jay with the short jokes. Like, okay. So moving on. <laughs> so you just recently won training day um, last week. Um, it was R and B nine. You won with the song "Affection," and it's definitely a vibe. So, talk to us a little bit about the song itself, the meaning behind it, the inspiration, um, what it means to you. This was my first actual song that I wrote. Um, actually, put together the hook, the lyrics, everything on top of the beat. Um, and no, I didn't do the beat. I ain't no beat maker. I, yeah. I, I can write. <laughs> not not yet. Not yet. It ain't on the list. But um, time, so I feel like a lot of emotions really came out. Um, So if for those who haven't heard it, when you go back and you listen to my lyrics, you'll see that, okay, yeah, she was in love. She was really feeling this dude. So that's where it comes from. Oh, sad ass, sap ass. No, I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> gotta make a song for the fellas. What he, he was light skin. You like light skin no, was done. Oh was, man, he was like your color. Hey, there you go. Hey, you only it's. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, y'all know I gotta ask for the fellas. They be wanting to know. You know what I'm saying? You probably got fans that be watching us, checking us out and shit. So, um, I'm pretty sure. You picked up some fans not too long ago because last I seen you had some it was a competition against um i think sav the fairy if it was her name did you i'm gonna ask you a question it's probably gonna make you uncomfortable but i feel like you really enough to answer did you know you was gonna drag her ass like that and that whole that whole versus or what like what did you expect the outcome to be yeah, I already knew I had it. I'm I'm not being cocky. I'm being confident. Um, only because I've gotten so much input on that song, I've gotten different different things. So I already knew, like whatever she had, I already kind of felt like it wasn't gonna top it. Um, I also, I always like to know my competition. So you know, I I check I I check a page or whatever. I see what she working with as far as just her music. Um, and so I felt like I already had it. That's what's up. Yeah, and for those of y'all that don't know, she dragged the poor girl. I think the score was like <laughs> ninety-eight two or like some shit cool. final for like woo. But yeah, so you recently just did a versus. You also just did a series of shows um down in Atlanta. So can you talk to us a little bit about your experience down there? How was everything? Um, that was my second time going to Atlanta. That was my best time. The vibes, the people that I was with um amazing time i felt like i was with a whole nother family that i never even knew um and as far as the performances 
that Monaco Club um, was the biggest audience that I've ever performed in front of. I was a little nervous, but I feel like once I had it going, then I was pretty good. So it was amazing. <laughs> Since I, I didn't know that you'd be acting and shit like that too, you feel me? That's that's dope though because it's dope to have multiple talents and be multifaceted. So, um, what do you think your best talent is outside of music? I think my best talent is it's it's like motivational speaking. Word. I feel like I have a lot of way with my words. There's a lot of people. Even when I got my own shit going on, there's a lot of people that'll call, you know, they'll they'll be like, you know, I want to talk about this, I want to talk about this. So they really do listen. So I feel like yeah. motivational speaking I have is great outside of music. That's heavy. That's yeah. different. Maya Angelou or something. Son, son, you <laughs> little sound something. Okay. Okay, bird. We see you over there. That's definitely um a, a different perspective. I like definitely. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say motivational speaker, and I've heard a lot of crazy answers, I'll yeah. say. Um, well, I'm not going to say crazy, but, like, different. We're we going to be nice. Yeah, we're going to be nice. We're going to say yeah. different. Crazy, yeah. crazy yeah. as hell, yeah. but <laughs> different. So my next question for you is, what's next? When are we going to get an EP from you or album? When are we going to get some more visuals? Do you have any shows? Like, what's next? Talk to us. Um well i have a lot of things coming up i'm trying to get some videos made um i'm working on an ep actually so a lot of my songs that you guys have heard i'm trying to put a whole piece together um and i got what it's going to be called but i'm not going to share that yet because people like to take names of they like to take names so i'm gonna leave that closed up but um yeah i got a few things coming up a lot of shows as well i'm trying to complete for april it's my birthday month, April 25th, Taurus. You know, we in the building. So I feel like I'm trying to work hard. Definitely. Right. Shit, I don't got nothing to say. Pop your shit and tell everybody where they can find you at. Um, Y'all can find me. Um, Everything is Lachelle TB. That's Facebook. That's Instagram. That's Snap. Um, And you want me to pop my shit? 30 seconds. You really want me to pop my shit? 30 seconds. Yeah. You know, you're not new to this, so this yeah, is going to be a little bit different. It is. It is. It is. Um, I think, let me see. Let me see what I want to say. I thought I told you already that I'm the one you should watch. They plotting, hoping that I fall before I climb to the top. And I guess I understand why they all be scared for their lives. They see you doing better, but then they quick to pull out a knife or pick up a bullet, put it in a gun, then they shoot. Don't underestimate the obvious, cause they coming for you, but you'll eventually just see it. They can't hide from the truth. The same nigga steady screaming that they riding for you. Woo! Yeah. Here you are. I got some more questions. I wanna So you won um, trainee of the night. I think that was back in December. Um, so from December to March, what has been going on? Can you talk to us a little bit about that in between time? Um, yeah, the last time that I just won for affection, I didn't even know I was going to win. Um, and the, the span with December into now um, is so much more. I'm so much more comfortable. I'm more comfortable performing in front of people. I'm more comfortable speaking about music. Um, and I've seen so much growth in everything that I'm doing. I'm going two times harder. When I first started, I was like, you know, I'm going to just perform here. I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going I'm to see where it's going to go. But then when I started seeing the recognition, I started seeing people really fuck with my music. I just like, I got to go ten times harder. So, yeah. That's what's up. So, now I want to transition into, because you are a business owner, can you tell the people, A, where they can find your business on social media, you know, the page, and then B, a little bit about, like, what you sell, what's your goal, target audience, everything? Uh, well, my boutique is called Shot with Lachey, um, and we sell different items like lashes, purses, clothes, um, blunt tips, if you guys smoke, got your blunt tips. Um, and I have a website, so if you guys need that website, it is up and active, and you can find my Instagram page and my Facebook page at Shot with Lachey. Okay, okay. 
that's what's up. So yeah, I definitely y'all know me. I got me a blunt tip already. <laughs> y'all know like same day she was like, I got blunt tips. So I'm like, yeah, cash out you <laughs> ASAP and came home and used it. But anyway, that's besides the point. What made you want to start your own business? Um, I'm just so tired of working for people. I'm to the point to where I just want my own. Um, a lot of people tell you when you got to clock in, when you can go home, how much work you got to do. And I'm like, I'm making these people thousands and thousands of dollars in an eight hour span instead of taking my time for my own self. So I'm really just trying to get out of working for people and become um, a complete entrepreneur. Do you think that you made that decision at the right time? Like, how did you know All right, it's time to stop working for somebody else and start doing this for myself? How did you know that was it was the right time? When I keep waking up and hating to go to work. Um, and just being in there for eight hours, like it's it a lot of people's energy also feeds into my life. Like when people come in, they got bad energy and you having a good day, like you done had a good ass day. People come in, they damn, I wanna do this. I want instead of just knocking the work out, I'm like, I can just do this on my own. I can build my own self up, I can have my own business, my own warehouse. And I felt like it was the right time because COVID. Um, a lot of people is at home, a lot of people shopping and a lot of people doing their own thing. So these with this government telling you when you can shut your business down and when you can't, it's like everybody's like, I need my own. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, yeah. So would you ever expand into other aspects of business? Um, yes. Um, like he said before, I definitely want to be an actor. I would like to play in movies as well. Um, I also want to become a lash tech. I used to want to do hair, but I can't deal with the hair thing. So I'm going to just leave that to somebody else. Facts. Facts. Yeah, that's me. I, I don't ask me shit about no hair. I just pay people. I don't know shit about hair if it ain't my hair, okay? Period. Um, <laughs> facts. So definitely. So how has COVID impacted your music career, I guess? Um, or what? let me see. Let me think of a more specific way. Has COVID positively affected your music career or negatively affected it okay. um it has positively affected it um when i first started this is when covid really got serious and i was like man do i want to stay home because everybody's scared everybody's fearing to be around each other and i'm like if i'm gonna perform i'm gonna have to be in people's face i'm gonna have to be around people regardless so i was like this is the time you got people that's sitting at home i'm gonna be one of the people that's out you know what i'm saying my bad jay um but yeah so i feel like it was a good thing and i've been doing this for months and i'm not sick and i don't have no motherfucking covid <laughs> so yeah that's what's up okay so i got two last questions all right so my second to last question is, what was your reaction to finding out that you won training day last week? Because I know you said it was unexpected. I didn't know I won. Um, I hadn't been on my phone for a while, so a few hours. And so when I kept getting, you know, notifications, I was like, let me see what's going on. Yeah. It was like, you won, you won. I'm like, dang, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't, the same thing happened to me last time. I didn't go in expecting to win. I was just like, I'm just ready to perform and kill it. Next thing you know, I won. So I feel like hard work pays off, even when you don't expect they it. They say when you least expect it. That's when yeah. Hard work, oh yeah. That's and you true. definitely like. But first of all, y'all know we shameless plug. Come big bonies. Big bonies. Fucking big bonies. The best Every vibes. Day. And we open at two a.m. now. Two o'clock. Big lit now. Hey, get them pop your pussy. Them bitches like yeah. three. And check them wings out. <laughs> I chased them wings for the first time. Bussy. Hey. Oh my oh, God! Wings sober you up. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 she was leaning out. She was leaning. I was falling. I was leaning. Yeah, I was drunk on Monday. Anyways, this, that's the size of the point. <laughs> so my last question. It's not really a question, but just can you drop one gem to the people um, that you want them to know, or something that you kind of want people to take away from you, or maybe like a, a motivational quote, or like something you live by, like anything. Um. I feel like put God first. Yeah, it's a lot of things that be happening to people um, or don't. And it could be the reason for, you know, God watching over you, keeping you safe. Don't never forget him when you go up to the top. Because just as soon as he gave it to you, you can take that shit away. Ooh, that was the gym. Definitely. Well.
common sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dealing with my, my interrogation. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm dealing. Hey, I'm in the cut. You know where I'm at. So, shit, I guess you got to close us out. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us, you know, what next time you at. Um, close us out. Man. I'm Lachey OTB. I'm the rapper from the 803. Y'all can find me on everything. That's L-A-S-H-A-Y O-T-B. Don't forget the O-T-B. Um, and we out. Bitches. Hey. hey.